Hey guys, it's Haley, and I am back with another video. And finally, we have drum roll, please. Um, this is the outgoing package for Yaliti. Um, I also want to show you the last two things I got in from AliExpress. So, um, I ordered some trim, and one of them they sent me was wrong. They were 99 cents each for two yards. Um, this is one that I ordered, super pretty, and then this, totally different than what I ordered, um, it was supposed to be little, like, um, it was supposed to be a linen trim with little, like, bows along, like, embroidered bows. So anyway, they, I, you know, wrote to the store, and you know, usually if you have like a question or complaint or you know if something's wrong I mean I've probably ordered I've got like five pages of things that I've ordered just over the years and I've had maybe six or seven times that something has gone wrong and usually they go back and forth because they don't want to give you money well they immediately gave me a return without even questioning because they knew it was wrong and I think they just ran out of the stuff and instead of just automatically refunding me. They were hoping I wouldn't notice, which that's what made me want to get the return even more because they're being sketchy. So anyway, um, I got my 99 cents back. So I got those two and then I got this die set, which I love. And also, um, I'm sending everything that I have now and I'm probably going to be sending her just a small envelope because I want to send her some die cuts with some of the new dies that I have, but that will take even longer and she's been waiting forever. So anyway, I also want to say, um, so she wanted to, she bought the Edith Holden book and, um, she emailed me. It was really late last night, like at two 30, but I was awake and she was like, you know, I'd like, I'd like to buy the Edith Holden book. I'll pay anything, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, no, that's what, don't be silly. You know, um, I'm shipping you something anyway. So I was like, obviously she didn't have to pay for shipping. So, um, I was like just $15 cause that will cover the tax fees and just what I paid for it and don't have to pay for shipping and an Uhu glue stick and, um, one of the new yarn needles are just other things that I'm sending her as well for the $15. But she bought the Edith Holden book. So I have that. Do, 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 do. It's the same one I showed in my video yesterday. And I also am sending her, which I had always planned on sending her anyway, one of the Reader's Digest books, the vintage ones, antique ones. Um, and I have only one that still has the, um, jacket on it. And this is the one I'm sending her. Um, obviously she can take it off if she doesn't want it, but I just thought it was cool. Um, the cover's really nice. These are just amazing to use for making your junk journals. I love this. It has wonderful, nice, natural aging. Ugh. Well, I wouldn't use that image, <laughs> but anyway, so that is the other big thing. So she's got Uhu glue stick. We'll go through the rest of it later. I just have these two things in bags. So if you're like just kind of tuning into the video, you're like, oh, who's your lady? She is the one that sent two boxes of things from her stash. Um, she's starting to do vintage now like me. And she also knew, knows that I do all the, the giveaways all the time, the little secret word giveaways. So she sent two boxes, one with lots of cactus stuff because I've always loved cactus and succulents. And then one with just all kinds of stuff just in general. And um, she wanted a journal. And um, the one I had um, just, it kind of really wasn't... Sh to her taste. She didn't like blue very much. So, and she wanted a botanical one. So I actually just made her a whole new one. And I love this one. I've made a couple of videos. Um, you know, the last one that says finished question mark, that's, I haven't added anything else. It's still 
totally full. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing again because I've gone through it in depth. But anyway, Yalidi is the woman that sent those two boxes full of all kinds of stuff for me, for things to share, etc. And this is what I'm sending her in return. And I, I know you hear me on the side. I have everything like sealed in bags and keeping it all nice and safe. Her books are each in a bag. Yatta yatta. Okay. Um, she also, oh, I know what the other thing I was going to say. Um, after I had, you know, she bought the book and everything. I'm sure she just went to bed, but I stayed up and, um, worked on her stuff till about 6.30 this morning. And, um, it's in the evening now. It's about six or so. I took a nap like early morning or late morning anyway. And <clears throat> I emailed her asking if she had it type the typecast stuff because, you know, Jen sent some of the, we are memory keepers typecast stuff. I asked her about stamping. I asked her about a couple things that is, if she had or she wanted. So, um, Yalidi, if there's anything you see in here that you already have or you don't need, just, um, I'm going to wait until she sees the video to ship it because it's Saturday anyway. So, um, it would, wouldn't go out till Monday. So that way she can, if it's something she already has, I'll just hold on to it. And that way I can share it with somebody else, but I want it to offer it to her first. But the other things that she was needing, wanting, needing, well, really needing is printables. So I've done pages and pages. I only took, I took a few of them out because they were just straight photocopies of the Edith Holden book. And now she has the whole book. There's a couple that I have that are shrunk down. So that way she can use them for folders. And I'm leaving those in because those are different than a regular sheet. So anyway, I have, I'll go through the full sheets later, but I also have all of these bags full of printables and cut aparts of all different vintage images, ephemera. These are things that I already had in my stash and I went through, cause I used to do a lot of printables before as well and fussy cut. Um, you guys know I have my own health issues. And so when like my back is bad or I'm just not feeling well and in bed, that's when I fussy cut. So <clears throat> there's four bags, thick bags <laughs> full of all kinds of vintage ephemera that were pre-cut. And then I have the, let's go through all of the sheets. Okay. Well, I'll show you this first. Um, I also asked her if she wanted some stamped images. I didn't make a ton because I didn't know, you know, if she would use them. But I did some of my favorites, printed them out. They're on VersaFine ink on with the 110-pound cardstock. So she should be able to watercolor on this. I mean, this is really heavy. It's twice as heavy as the regular cardstock I usually use, which is 60 pound. So almost twice as heavy would be 120 pound. But you know what I mean. Then there are, let's see, these were in the back of the stack, so I'm just showing you them now. Woo! What a mess as usual. There are about, they're larger than eight and a half by 11. There's two folder and a half. So there's like four sheets, eight and a half by 11 of the nice thin craft paper that I love. Here's another piece of it. I love making like the paper sacks and bags out of that type of paper. So, um, I cut, um, basically 11 inch wide sheets of it and the rolls were about 16 inches. So folded in half, 16, 17, you know, folded in half, it turned out just about right. So that is the extra paper. And then here's the first collection. So, um, my friend Misha actually sent me, um, a couple digitals and I printed out, this is the Shabby Chic Journal Kit, Shabby Chic Rose Journal Kit, and I printed her out um, a bunch of the, you know, things that go with the journal. So she can, she'll have a bunch of matching stuff to work with. And there's one more. This is a 20-page kit, Nature Walk. And this is when, um, one of the first things I made, and I ran out of cardstock. 
So a couple of it are on regular computer weight paper. But anyway, I love this collection. It is so pretty. And then there's a ton of these like eight by eight, like full pages, journal pages. And then there's like these two smaller half sheets. So there's 20 pages in total, including these two. Um, then there's this one. I can't remember what this what this one went with because it was a single but it was just really pretty and I thought she'd like it um, and this kind of goes with it I couldn't tell if it was a matching collection but because see this is anyway I I thought it went with it looked good so she can use it together um, this is just one of the or two of the Edith Holden page spreads that I liked and I had made and I just printed them um, on basically in half. I shrunk them down so that she can make the little folders like I made. There are <clears throat> these tickets, which I love. This was like a single image I found online and I printed it <clears throat> like nine times. And so she has six and I have three. This same one printed with six or three and three. So I split it between us, the three large, and then I also, a lot of them have a smaller version, yeah, like this. So then I would print it a second time, <clears throat> smaller. This one got cut off, see how that shrunk at the top? But I still wanted to give it to her because these images are still really cool. Then, oh, I love these Western Union telegrams. This, again, was a full sheet of these split between us. This, oh, I love this. Um, it's a really pretty envelope. These are super pretty. Um, these are, call me Victorian, one-inch circles. Love them. This was another one that was one of the kits that Misha sent me. And this was like a full sheet. So the... Um, actual embellishments and stuff were huge and to use in like a regular size journal they actually look better like you know shrunken down in half this was another one that was a full sheet I shrunk down same with this these are like um, tuck spots and corners and tags for the journal with matching tickets um, this, again, a full sheet I shrunk down, so they're normal size. Super pretty. And actually, this flower matches with this. These go together. Let's see? So, I believe those are all of the printables that I have. Yes. Um, there's a few other miscellaneous paper things. Uh, this is a Jenny Bolin photo strip. I had two of them. I just thought she might like it. And these are like word flashcards. Some of them are really long and she can cut them off, but I figured like she could do it herself and that way she could use these as actual like journal cards. I don't know. I didn't want to have like everything totally done because um, she's recovering from her surgery and that way like fussy cutting is like my favorite thing to do when I'm down and can't get up and move around anyway um there's another little stack I know she has the full book of pages but these are different types of pages these are from the children's storybook I actually out of the whole book there was only two full blank pages and by blank I mean with just words without images <laughs> so one for her one for me and then these were the rest of the biggest pieces but they're Spanish language and um, she was born in Puerto Rico so Spanish is her first language so I thought she would actually like those too and they're nice and vintagey and then one of each of all of the really cool um, deco what do you call them origami deco papers from Jen and then some of the super cute images from the Mother Goose book and some of the little rhymes. 
So just some extra little bits and bobs. And then we will go through the rest. Just a moment. Okay. So I have all of the papers. They're all going down in this. Keeps everything safe. And just kind of together so they won't get messed up. And yeah, that's why I have them, all the like flat papery stuff together on their own. Okay, what's next? Oh, um, this is another thing. I don't know if she would want it, but I really liked it and I thought she might like it as well. Um, if you're doing bullet journaling or any type of other writing, this is a lined book, but the lines are dots. There's no vertical lines, but the um, lines themselves are dots, and they're super pretty, and the paper's actually pretty thick. So, anyway, um, if she wants this, it is hers as well. I'm just kind of going through all the miscellaneous stuff now. Um, oh, some typecast goodies. Um, this is a pack of those Jolie's Boutique embellishment stickers. They're like vellum. I really like these. I ordered these online recently. Um, and here, oh, I just went ahead and stuck the needle in the top of that trim just so she can have a sample of it if she wants it. And that way the needle won't poke her. And I was saying that is dangerous in Spanish, but I think I messed that up. I like I think it's right. I think that means dangerous in Spanish. I just thought it was cute to put that. Um, some tiny word stickers. These are from the Crate Paper Craft Market. I don't even know why I cut them apart because they were just one piece. And one of the Teresa Collins. There is three lengths of this awesome Tim Holtz film trim. And I never know, like, um, I, I just, I don't know what she has or doesn't have. So I was trying to, you know, I wanted to send her some washi, but then I was like, oh, she probably has all this. So I, I was like, don't do Hobby Lobby because I know she goes to Hobby Lobby a lot. So I think these are all, you know, kind of randomy ones that she may have not had, I hope. And then trim, that is some of the really pretty like faux velvet. And there's, I think the smallest length in here is three feet and they go all the way up to like four feet of trim so there's lots and lots and lots of lace vintage lace trim in here I just rolled them up so that they're all nice and neat and that is everything in this bag let me pause you okay just a few more things um there are some oh these are actual vintage um Avery labels. I'll show you the box. They're, it's really cool. These were from Pat's grandfather's office when they like cleaned out his office after he passed. These are from 1972. I know, I mean, they're just labels, but I thought they were cool. So they're already pre vintageified So there's five of those. And then one of my special obsessed with, I have been hoarding these little fairy note card and envelopes. I'll show you the tin. You guys have seen it before. This is what I have a lot of my other like old mini projects in. I wonder when this was even made. Oh, 2005. Hmm. Anyway, I've been hoarding this and I love the note cards aren't in it. I don't have that many left, but I love them. So I'm sending her one of those. Super pretty. Of course, had to send her some of the diner sheets. I had two packs and a little bit left over. There's 15 diner sheets per pack. So I had like 33 left and there's 10 on this. So I, I opened a new pack and took five off and sent her the rest. So now I have like one and a half packs left. So that will be perfect. That way she has plenty enough to work with and I'm sure I'll, I'm hoarding them and I'm sure I won't even use them. So 
it is fine. And then there's five of these really cool Seven Gypsies tickets. And these are actually perforated on the bottom. So you can take this part off or leave it on. It doesn't matter. And then another sort of like special sentimental. Let me see if I can, let me get the rest of this out first. Okay. So these are some of the OG original before I even made my first junk journal little projects and they are little envelopes made out of a vintage coloring book and they are of like Mary and Joseph and I know she's very religious so I thought she would think that was cute too but I've been saving them so anyway I thought she might like that one of these cards um, I actually used this in one of my in that soft cover sewn junk journal the like faux um faux dory one that cover that I made when I first got back on YouTube. I used one of these to make a little embellishment. And then these again are from one of my first projects. So I made a little like tag album and basically the pages in the book were all these little pockets. So and they're made with like the original OG crepe paper computer weight paper book. So I've been saving them. Anyway, I hope she likes them. There's the patterns are still super cute. I really like them. And then I have this set of seven gypsies, little, um, envelopes and note cards, but the note cards don't exactly match. Like you can't tell which one specific specifically it goes to. I guess you're just supposed to mix and match and put whatever card you want in whatever envelope. So I just tried to find ones that matched the best. And finally, there's these three cream square envelopes, again, that I've been saving. I love these. Um, inside, I don't even know why there are these random, um, just little like red squares, but I went ahead and left it in there. That way she can take this and, you know, to measure or mark off and make whatever note cards she wants to go in there. So, oops, that, my friends, I think that is everything. Is that everything? So, did I show you the glue stick? All these pages. We went through all the paper pack, both of the books, notebook journal, and the zipper bag of all the goodies. That, my friends, I think is everything. So that is all for now. Um, again, Yalidi, email me if there's anything that you like already have or, you know, or if there's things that you don't think you'll use, don't worry, you won't hurt my feelings. Um, and that way I'll just, you know, save them and put them aside and I can send them off to somebody else in the secret word envelope. And then um, I'm also going to be I want to get this out and get it sent to her. It's going in the box, the flat rate, um, medium flat rate shipping box. And I know there would obviously be plenty of room to add some die cuts, but I want to get this out to her because I mean, she sent me those two boxes months ago. And when she first sent them, I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Like, because I didn't know she was doing vintage crafting. And I was like, I don't have any new, like, trendy, bright stuff. Like, I hadn't bought anything like that. And I know she's, like, a shopper, so she probably already had, you know, the stuff that I had from two years ago if she, you know. So I was like, what am I going to do? But then she told me she was doing vintage stuff, and I was like, okay, perfect. And I was like, well, would you like a book? Would you like trims? It all worked out. I hope she likes everything that I'm sending her. And yes. So anyway, I hope you all like the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you have gotten this far, there is a secret word. It is seven gypsies ticket. Do you like the seven gypsies tickets? I love seven gypsies tickets. So that is your secret word. This will be round 17 of the secret word envelopes. And my friends, all of our big projects are done. So our next video, we will be pulling out 
our huge botanical junk journal and getting back to work on that. I am so excited. So look forward to a new craft as we go. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think and make sure you do your secret word envelopes. Um, everybody can win every 30 days. New people get dibs. And there is a link in the description box with a full video with every single rule. Which, there aren't that many, but you know. Any hoozle. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. Bye.